Hey guys, so Kitty King TV here, and today I'm going to be kind of telling you um, just a couple of things about you know how to become a VTuber or how to get started on deciding what you want to do and what programs you want to use, and kind of just going down a list of a couple of common ones and you know the different things you can do and use between it. So personally, I use Lepit VR, um, which is a very very great. Uh, software. I really, really enjoy Lepit VR because I can freely, I don't have any, any trackers on my hands or anything. Um, the only thing I have is just my camera and the leap motion and it tracks everything, which is really, really nice. Um, I really enjoy it. It feels free. I could still game and play games, you know, just fine without anything overbearing or, and it, it tracks the fingers and everything pretty well. Sometimes it loses connection and whatnot, and sometimes it doesn't track 100% uh, properly, but once you get everything kind of set up and calibrated, it's usually pretty fine. Um, you may see in the arm like kind of go out once you go a certain a certain distance or you lose the tracking. It kind of does things like that. But other than that, it works very well. Um, but yeah, a couple of uh, VR softwares that you can use or VTuber softwares you can use, I guess you could say. Um, for like the 2D avatars where it's kind of this is this is more of a 3d avatar for the one of the 2d ones that are kind of um well 2d of course you can use uh live 3d on steam it's free and uh you're able to use that as a software as as well as face rig i don't think face rig's free i think it's about ten dollars on steam i'm not 100 percent sure but um those two applications are used more for like the 2d um, VTuber models. So if you see those ones, um, I think most of them use live 3D. Um, you could also use VR chat as well as like a, um, for the 3D, um, or, or I guess 2D since you could get 2D models on there as well. But, um, you could use VR chat as like a software, but it's not really recommended because, well, you would have the whole, you know, VR headset on your head and everything, and you'd have to use your hands for, like, the controls and everything, and that could be a lot of work. Um, but I do know a couple of people that do actually do that. So it is an option, and I just thought I'd put that out there. Um, another popular one that I believe is around $10 um, that a lot of people use is Suva. So Suva, you can use your VR or HTC Vibe trackers. If you have those to move your hands and move your head, um, you just you just get like your straps, you put it on your head and you put it on your hands and it moves your avatar for you. Um, I personally never tried Suva. I had a friend that used it and they enjoyed it and liked using it. Um, but they said it was kind of hard to game because you had the trackers on your on your hands. And, you know, that can mess with you if you're gaming gaming. If like if you're like a competitive gamer like me, you know you can't have anything on your hands while like gaming and stuff like that. Um, so that's why, you know, again, I use the Lepit and the Leap Motion. I got my Leap Motion for around $110 um, on Amazon, um, but I do believe I was lucky and I got like one of the cheaper ones. It only took like two weeks or so to get in, um, but you could also get it from the recommended website, uh, which is like $90, but it takes, it takes a bit uh, be mailed to you um there's that and uh what else what else oh Luppet does have a free trial version so if you wanted to give it a shout out and see if you you know wanted to use it or like it um it's pretty awesome and uh for the most part easy to use and get down once you get it i have Luppet. i bought the 40 dollars version of Luppet, and it has everything i need um there's about three or four versions but i just bought the first one the basic dollar uh the basic one it's forty dollars it's a little bit pricey but it's it's very it's it's nice i like it and it was it was worth every penny for me another popular one i believe it's newer and i've seen a lot of people using lately is the vup or the vup on steam that one's free as well and i think you actually can use leap motion for that one as well i know it is camera based so you don't have to have any like trackers on your head or hands or anything um and it's just it's it's camera based so it can see you and it, it tracks you through just like your camera like Luppet and that's free on Steam VR so if you didn't want to buy uh the Luppet and have to go through all that you could try giving that one a shot first on Steam and see how that one holds up for you all these programs kind of have like their own unique or personal uh niches and you know people just kind of go to whichever one tends to fit them better 
or whatnot you know i'm sure there'll be more to come out as well that'll be more useful and stuff when you finally decide on like which program you want to use or which software you want to use um there's a couple of things you could do you know you could you could just get a vrm model uh off the internet which isn't too hard you know there's a lot of free ones that you can use and stuff like that if you wanted to create your own model or upload your own model you could do that through like unity um you know you can create your model your model through blender or unity and upload it through there i managed to get my model uploaded through unity with a lot of help from moon's uh tutorial with the vrm model so she helped me out a, a ton with those um I do believe it's a bit different with the live 3D and the face rig, but I'm not 100% sure how those work. I know that face rig has a ton of uh, free models you can use and stuff like that. And I believe uh, VP or VUP has a couple of free models as well and uh, things along those lines that you can use. But um, you can also obviously find someone to create a model for you, you know, commission someone to create if you want, like, say you have an original character like an OC or you just want a specific design. Um, there are a couple of, um, you know, VTuber model creators or just model creators in general that can definitely help you make that kind of stuff and help you out with that. But if you already have like a model and you just want to learn how to upload it, there are also a couple of videos on how to do that as well through YouTube. Um, but yeah, this is just kind of a quick uh, video to show you kind of just talk about the different softwares and um, what they're capable of and what they kind of do um, again you know I use the Luppet I love it to death I converted my friend from Suva to Luppet and um, you know they enjoy it and I have another friend that I want to try and get to use it as well um, but that's just personally I mean you know in the future I may give up a try on Steam I've been looking at I've been looking into it and wanting to see that as well so we'll we'll have to see what happens at that point but other than that thank you guys so much for watching this was just like a quick informational guide if you didn't really know where to get started just a couple of sites and a couple of softwares that could help you out so love you guys thank you much so much and I'll see you guys later bye bye